The Word was made flesh. Then we saw His glory. We saw His glory when the Word was made flesh. The Word was made flesh. Then we saw His glory. We saw His glory when the Word was made flesh. Dear friends, once again, we'd like to welcome you to this our account where we come to to be with you, to, to spend time together, to grow on the word and to allow the word to grow in us. And so once again, we invite each and every one of you to come and be in the presence of God. Let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our Father, in your mercy and love, we ask you that you be with us, that you protect us, that you bless, that you guide, that you lead us, that you show us your mercy, that you show us the truth. We ask that you give us the spirit of wisdom so that we learn from you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so we are using a new story today. We are looking at the new story. Uh, and then we, as we look at this new story, there are new dynamic, dynamic, dynamics that are quite important for us to look into. And so we're going to ask this woman, Bilom Dale, to open the word as she reads for us. We'll read from the first Kings chapter 17 from verse 7. Yeah. After some time, however, the wadi ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Arise, go to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have commanded a widow there to feed you. He rose and went to Zarephath when he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was there, gathering sticks. He called out to her, Please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, Please bring along a crust of bread. She said, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a few sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you have said, but first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Afterwards, you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah said. Okay, let's, let's probably stop there for now. And there are a few things that one wants to look into. The, the first one, verse 7, Elijah goes into the wadi and he stays there and we know that there's been a famine the lord has spoken to elijah if you were to read from verse one that the lord says to elijah he must go to the king to king ahab to tell him that there's going to be a drought and there's going to be a famine so elijah is the bearer of not so good news and he, he tells the king that there's going to be a famine and there's going to be a drought and it does exist and it, it happens and you, you see the story that Elijah goes into into the woods into the desert into the wadi and is being fed by the ravens what's your take on that I feel that in Elijah's journey God has provided for him mm -hmm. and in the provision God did not make him too comfortable because in spite of the fact that he provided for him when he was in the wadi Ravens fed him and he never went dry or in need of anything But there was a time now when the warden became dry mm. So yes, But now I need you to feel what is it like to be empty mm. and to not have Something for yourself and it is at that moment like same to my corner now Carry on with the mission, despite the fact you've experienced an empty moment in Bilunyako. 
You know, Gibuga Unkulunkulu Uguti is asking Elijah to prophesy that there's going to be a drought, that there's going to be a famine. And one will presume, but that's not going to affect me. You know, local Kwako, when I call the principal Uguti, no, I mean, I'm covered. Unkulunkulu Uguti says, I didn't lamb. Chwabazo Penelo and Sibins, Minangelum Penel. Chwabazo Gula, Minangel Gold. And how do you deal with that? How do you deal with moving from them to us, from you to us, to actually realize that we are in this together, we are all struggling together, and we are all fighting for our battles, for our lives, for our survival together. That's the first part that speaks to me. But also equally important is that the ravens will actually bring you bread and meat. And it was a shame, you know. This too shall pass. You know, just because we are doing it right, it doesn't mean I'm delayed. It doesn't mean I'm going about the pants. It doesn't mean go is it right. You know, so this is the little touch of some sum, limposing a pound, or a pound, limfagum sum. And so he's being fed by a pound who he never thought would feed him. He sees a moon to a big mugger pants. A school in the law, a big mugger pants, he sits a rasha and peel, we end up with a man. You know, he copied as humiliated, as humbled about the man. Utwalu Gucci. And we gave them a new name, Essential Workers. Utena, Ukesha, a petrol attendant. We realized the thing of Pantrek Wala Bubak in Pilozejo. No, but the latest is Kumbozo, but we need to respect each and every person. Regardless, so what's when a thump of money at some seven hours is not good enough. But that job sustains a part of your life. No more out, because who Elijah, yes, he had a mission, he had a prophetic mission, but God then provided and used the birds to provide for him. You know, you know, small Gibuga. If we are actually honest with ourselves, kula makaya la kuwa na kono ant, abakuli singan, abapega, abakata makai, oh gogo. Yes, you soon realize what you cannot abanya bantu at mina kuli so ant, at mina kuli so gogo. You wanna know ma abasebete ma jardin, babugelo pants. Which way my work seven to twelve team seven to now span by the span. Kashle kashle labo bandu are the very same people who raise families at the expense. Enganza, they can't be present. The man can't have. Abanye babu ya once a month. Mina ake segi na bo anti. But you say ganja. Ita ge ge yen se mina. What I get expect by yen. Kote on kosho guti. Truth be told, Nangu muto petu muzwa, Nangu muto rana lelika, Nangu muto was young king to gega niam minengayas, and yet babukela pants. And this text for me it reminds us so what you unkolo kolo can humble you. Kolo kolo ya was go come so what I will love you. Now you will see in the text so what you. The ravens fed him. They wanted to give him water. But, Wapela. And in the next session, Susubuga Ezekela. 
kwenza kala anepilonia. Kadukulu kulu ya wazi ususale azong bega la matejane la loka ni pego na kushabala anepene. And we'll see in the next session how does Elijah survive when the ravens feed him no more and when the wadi run price. And that in our dry season, Ngolungolo is there. Mm. I, I admire the obedience of Elijah because as a figure in the desert, God has sent him there. Mm. And as a Ngolungolo, we are You know, we take it full to say, we take it full, he provides. But eventually, the Lord Tafula runs empty. Mm. But still, I'm like, look, 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 says, okay, suga ke manje, same thing, uts uye la pan. And it's guba lula, we sing skats, we say, unko, unko, has brought me to this place. But guba na kusenge asuela, I cannot listen to his voice. It's, it's okay. Sunga haba ke manje. Kote isho yo, kuru kuru tegi Tafula. But soon, everything get Tafula near pen. Kenze gandan loko. That's a big question. Kungenze gano kutu wisizin la unkulu kule seti loko bekse tafle ni sengya kwa. That's a dry season. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the seasons in our lives. We thank you for guiding us to places that you thought were better for us. May you be with us in our journey of life. May we appreciate your providence. May we also appreciate the emptiness that we go through. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And once again, dear friends, we'd like to thank you for being with us. We'd like to thank you for joining us. Please do subscribe, leave a comment, and make sure that you invite this and share it with a friend. Thank you. God bless. See you. The word was made flesh. Then we saw his glory. We saw his glory when the word was made flesh.